Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Josephine Bakita from abject slavery to the dignity of being your daughter and a bride of Christ, grant we pray that by her example we may show constant love for the Lord Jesus crucified, remaining steadfast in charity and prompt to show compassion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the beginning of the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came and morning followed the first day. Then God said, let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome, and it separated the water above the dome 
from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came and morning followed the second day. Then God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let the earth bring forth vegetation. Every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed the third day. Then God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night, and he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed. The fourth day. The word of the Lord. May the Lord be glad in his works. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. May the Lord be glad in his works. You fixed the earth upon its foundation, not to be moved forever. With the ocean as with a garment, you covered it. Above the mountains, the waters stood. You send forth springs into the water courses that wind among the mountains. Besides them, the birds of heaven dwell. From among the branches, they send forth their song. May the Lord be glad in his works. How manifold are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Alleluia. Gospel according to Mark. 
that are making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land at Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise I'm taking the Mass this morning of St. Josephine Bakita. She was uh, canonized only uh, some 21 years ago by that glorious St. John Paul II, one of our greatest popes ever, certainly in modern times. St. Josephine uh, was born about the year 1869. She did not know the precise date herself. Born in the Sudan, and when she was only nine years of age, she was uh, enslaved, captured by Arab slave traders, and then uh, over the ensuing years was uh, sold some five times on the Sudanese slave market. She was uh, often beaten mercilessly and uh, came in one case to the ownership of a general placed in charge of his mother and his wife who uh, had her flogged daily until she bled and even made her undergo uh, tortures from which she um, bore for the rest of her life some 144 scars. She then uh, came under the ownership of an Italian merchant and uh, when the political unrest was great, he returned to Italy with her. There in the uh, area of Venice, she came to know a new uh, Peron, as she would call him in their new uh, Venetian dialect that she was learning, uh, a new master who was unlike her previous masters who were cruel or who regarded her as a useful slave. This master was the master of all masters, the Lord of life. And uh, she began to discover that he not only knew her, but that he loved her and that he awaited her. She understood this master was flogged for her and for all mankind. And she found herself experiencing redemption. And therefore, uh, under this new uh, found freedom, she no longer uh, considered herself a slave and refused to go back to Sudan. And uh, the courts eventually sided with her and uh, she was then free. She joined the Kenosian sisters in Venice beginning initially as a uh, sacristan and as a uh, uh, porter. But uh, her love uh, and the great hope of salvation that she experienced in Christ could not be contained and she would go off on several missions uh, declaring um, uh, the, the wonders of the Lord and uh, the hope for eternity for those who believe in him. It's a wonderful example of uh, someone who really treasured her beliefs and wanted to share them with others. The scripture tells us that we should be ready to give a hope, a reason rather, for the hope that is within us. So therefore we should be willing to share our faith. So look around you, see the opportunities. You know, even in uh, pre 
pandemic uh, times, you know, how many think little of uh, worshiping God, say, on Sundays. So we have to remind them, uh, especially our youth, that there can be no uh, happiness or peace apart from uh, God. St. Augustine would say, you know, our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. And uh, others need to be encouraged. You know, our Bishop's Lenten Appeal has that theme, encourage one another by word and deed. Yes, we can do that by making uh, sacrifices of our resources, but we should really be doing that every day already by, in other words, giving a testimony uh, to encourage others by our words uh, to uh, draw nearer to Christ and to practice their faith. Others uh, claim to be uh, practicing, but are, uh, are making wrong choices, say, those in high places who continue to support horrible evils. Uh, previously mentioned, you know, uh, government officials and so on, like our new president, who uh, support abortion, uh, want to make that just uh, a normal part of the fabric of uh, the life of Americans, uh, using tax dollars to support this evil and so on. I don't know who is uh, uh, giving him advice, uh, 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 claiming that he is a devout Catholic, but uh, uh, hopefully uh, the pastors and bishops who have that responsibility uh, are, will uh, not uh, lead him into error. He should know the truth, but uh, sometimes people have to be reprimanded and disciplined but in whatever situation, we should always be willing to give that uh, testimony uh, uh, to, it's not, we're not meant to be vindictive or to be uh, judgmental, but we want others to share in the salvation. We don't want anyone to miss out on the great uh, love uh, and life that God has prepared for us from all eternity. If we really believe that, then we would not hesitate to uh, encourage and even to correct others. So let us uh, think of the ways that we can encourage others by word and deed, imitating the great saints and uh, sharing the wonders of God's love for us. Today's Holy Mass is being offered for Repose of the Soul of Anthony Radicke. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and the Virgin, Blessed Josephine Bikita, we humbly implore your majesty that, as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith, we proclaim your death therefore Lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Josephine Bikita and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. Please say the word, my soul shall be healed.
partaking of this divine gift. We pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Josephine, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. This morning, following Mass, we'll have our Divine Mercy Chaplet, and uh, because of the ice and the closure of the school, we'll go ahead and uh, do our miraculous medal novena prayers following uh, the chaplet, since uh, it might not be safe to come out tonight. St. Michael, the Archangel. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host. Chapel of Divine Mercy, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, we offer this for the conversion of our country, uh, for our parish and all of our families, and for conversion of poor sinners. The expired Jesus, but the source of life, gives forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world, and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which goes forth from the heart of Jesus, as the fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which goes forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which goes forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 An atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us 
and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us. Increase your mercy in us. In all moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. St. Faustina, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Novena booklets are there, in the back of the church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. You shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise, and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have us saved to glorify by numberless miracles, the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven. With the Father and Holy Spirit, live and reign, God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine of Labore. Grant, we beseech you, Availed with light, humility, 
we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The memory. Remember, our most compassionate Virgin Mary, never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, spies not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. We read a prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we are loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, we may recover by penance we have lost by sin, and attain to that blessed abode. You are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. Act of consecration. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us. It's your sign of perfection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. For while wearing it, may we be blessed with your loving protection and preserved the grace of your Son. O oh, most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin. O Mary, conceive without sin.